got this massive box from Ringside. Ringside, Ringside, collectibles, let my camera focus on it. Yes, that is right, everyone. It is your boy TTT back again with this massive unboxing. Here is uh, my hand for scale, and here is a Ray Mysterio's hand for scale. This is a massive undertaking we're doing here, world's biggest. WWE Elite Unboxing Series 102. Why is it the world's biggest? Because no one else bought as many figures as me. Guaranteed. JK, maybe one or two people, or 12 or 13 did, but not, not me. I'm actually included. So, what's in the box? Let's open it up so everyone can see. That's the whole point of an unboxing, is to unbox. And I apologize that my camera's not getting everything. One of these days it will, but that is not today. Maybe it's tomorrow. I hope you all have a great day. As my boy Mike Foley would say, there you go. That's the shot for the thumbnail. JK, it doesn't show Roman Reigns. <laughs> Needs Roman Reigns to be a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Oh my gosh! Uh oh, they accidentally sent me two of the same figure. Uh, that's freaking awful. Okay, so we have WWE Elite 201, aka WWE Elite Series 102 in the flesh. First time on YouTube. First time in the line. No one else has ever received a Mike Foley figure. This is Mike Foley. Uh, you might know him from that show, Holy Foley, starring Dan Barry. Uh, this is Commissioner Foley. He joined the police force, and uh, he really sold out. Um, here he is on the side, uh, looking like Mick Foley, Mike Foley, and on the back. Um, there he is, commissioning it. Oh, this is a freaking dope set. I, oh my, let's get this out of here. We gotta look at Edge, the Demon Edge. Here he is, uh, don't, don't quote me on it, but Edge's favorite song is On This Day. And he comes with his Judgment Day attire, I'm pretty sure. When's this figure from? Uh, Heck in the Cell 2022. That's when it is, when he and Liv had a match. And uh, this is a really cool looking figure. First time in the line for Edge, so really excited to see him finally get that chance to shine. And then we have the rare Austin Theory. Uh, this is the variant edition. I don't know why I paid extra for it because look at that cringe worthy YouTube face. That is what my face should be doing in the thumbnail, not his, but yeah, just angle it like that, and it's a dumb YouTube head, right? Whoa! And uh, this is uh, Austin Theory, but you know, your boy wants all that YouTube code. So I also picked up the normal version, because I'm a normie. Uh, shout out to all my normies in the house, but my freaking camera doesn't know how to focus anymore. Remember when cameras knew how to focus on the toys and not me? Okay, so this is the regular Austin Theory, and he looking pretty dope, he looking pretty dope, looking pretty fly for an Austin Theory. And then, I feel like we just got a Sami Zayn figure, so I'm not too excited, but I am really excited, because look at that head sculpt scan, this looks freaking dope. This is one of the most incredible Sami Zayn figures they have released since Sami Zayn joined the Bloodline in 2022, as people that don't know how to say 2022 would say. This shows him in a facial expression during his match when he took on Johnny Knoxville. And as we all know, that Johnny Knoxville figure was the best figure we've received in years. So this could be just as good as that, but hold on. There's more. We have the goth girlfriend. My friend Biscus has even DM'd me saying she sees Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley videos on TikTok of her being bulky, bulk, bulk, bulky, bulky, bulky and beautiful. 
Uh, she comes with beautiful accessories and tattoos, and there she is on the side of the packaging, looking like Rhea Ripley on the back. It just says she's from Australia and all that jazz. I don't understand, but here we go. <gasps> Volta. Hello, everyone. It is me, Volta, the German from Germany. Hello. How are you, Walter? How are you doing, Mr. Gun? Thur. It comes with a red jacket. And that's it. That's it. That's a pretty boring uh, attire, a figure, or whatever you want to say. I, you know, say what you want. It's boring. So who in the set got the most of the budget? That's the question of the day. It's certainly not Gunther. Gunther's out here looking pretty sad with just the jacket. So I'm going to put him more on the low side. But then Rhea Ripley comes out and she's like, yo, I just got a jacket. She's on the bottom tier. Uh, Sami Zayn comes with that big thing in the back. Uh, so he's he's actually up there. He's up there. It's not like Mr. America who got 50 million accessories. And speaking of 50 million accessories, we have Austin Theory with this great paint job and extra head. I'm going to shove him in the middle. And uh, then we got 50 million accessories and cloth good. He's at the top. And in the middle is, again, Edge, who just comes with, like, a jacket. Okay, maybe, maybe I, I, I'm a... Put him at the bottom. So this this is the set. This is the order, I think, of operations of where the budget went. What do you think? Do you think I'm totally wrong? Or do you think people had better luck in the set than, than you'd imagine? Uh, because that's what I'm seeing here is some disagreement in the comments. Because I can see the comments live uh, right now. So let me know what you think because I don't know what to think myself and I need YouTube comments to tell me what to think and, and, and what to believe and uh, good night.